Good morning, welcome in Diagnostic Con 2018. Uh, please, can you introduce uh, us a little bit your company and also the tool and the system which you present here? Thank you and thanks for the invitation to the Diagnostic Con. It's really a pleasure for me to be here. So, uh, a few words about AVL. AVL is a huge company uh, with the headquarters in Austria. We have uh, in total more than 8,000 employees in all around the world. Uh, 4,000 of them are located in Graz, Austria. So we as from AVL Digest, we uh, take care of the aftermarket fraction of, of the automotive industry. That means uh, as soon as a car is developed on the, on the road, then we take over and we produce tools for the workshops and for the mechanics. What I would like to introduce now to you is our oscilloscope, AVL Scope 1400. This scope is a very special tool, especially designed for the workshop. That means it's not a converted laboratory scope, which is basically uh, the way uh, dual producers are doing that. So we solely developed this tool for the automotive aftermarket fraction, that means for the workshop, for the mechanic. A mechanic basically is not acquainted to use oscilloscopes uh, like uh, he or she is doing it with a spanner or with a screwdriver. And so we did a uh, uh, we, we put in a lot of knowledge and experience into the software and into the tools hardware. A few specialty of that is that uh, you can connect uh, the tool to every voltage source from millivolt up to 600 volt, up to 1000 volt if you make a failure measure, but up to 600 volts is completely uh, accurate in measuring without any attenuator, without any special tool for just connect and measure and the rest is done by the software itself. We have uh, special designed sockets that provide a voltage and uh, has also got a so-called um, power supply for every sensoric. So we do not use any battery, neither with the tool itself nor with every uh, sensoring you can see here. Over there on the table uh, you see a selection of the sensoring available like a uh, pressure sensor from minus one bar up to 100 bar. You can measure fluids and gases without any limits. Temperature sensor, which is quite quick. Within for, uh, one second, it has got 90% of the new measurement value. So it's a very quick accurating temperature sensor up to 200 degrees Celsius and minus 20 degrees. We have uh, the old fashioned ancient test equipment as well for ignition measurement. Uh, um, distribute ignition measurement as well as for um, direct ignition measurement, single spark coil or coil on plug systems. We have got uh, two very accurate uh, amp probes. One is already equipped here to a common rail injector. This amp probe is able to measure from one amp up to 1800 amp without any limits and is a very quick one. And this, uh, the second one here is a very, very accurate measurement uh, clamp probe, amp probe, uh, which has a degauss function to get rid of a residual magnetic field. And so you can very, very accurate, uh, perform very, very accurate measurements from one milliamp without any um, uh, re, uh, uh, without um, a re, um, any temperature drift and, and things like that, which can be annoying if you do perform a BIOS current measurement with a battery, a long-term current measurement in milliamps, but is also able to measure up to 150 amps without any limits. So in both uh, sensoring together uh, gives you the capability of measuring from 1 milliamp up to 1,800 amp. I have heard that uh, this oscilloscope is very intuitive, very user-friendly in terms of safety. So it's uh, uh, very suitable for people who start with the oscilloscope diagnostic or for students, for example. Is that true? That's it. That meets exactly the point, yeah. Uh, so uh, the tool is robust, is user-friendly. If you're not acquainted with measurement devices, but you would like just to get a result, a, a reliable result, then I would suggest going uh, with that kind of uh, tool because the tool helps you, the tool supports you as a mechanic 
and that you is, and not uh, the mechanic has to support the tool and understand the tool. The tool gives you every information on demand and you cannot fail uh, with um, performing the measurement with that tool. And uh, for example, if uh, the mechanic makes a wrong connection, what does the tool make to, uh, says to him? So as soon as a mechanic connected in the wrong way, in comparison to a BNC connector, yeah, a tool with BNC connector, the tool realizes that and gives you a clear manner what kind of sensoring is connected and what kind of sensor should be connected. And as soon as you did it in the right way, or you do it in the right way, then the tool uh, uh, succeeds in, in measurement uh, and, and gives you the access to the measurement. And all the setups are predefined, pre so you don't have to know what kind of voltage uh, base, time base, trigger base uh, you have to adjust. The tool is doing that for you. All you have, what, what you have to know is uh, what kind of measurement you would like to perform. And we have another specialty, it's quite um, unique with our measurement tool. We call that multisense. This multisense, uh, on the one hand, is a stroboscope. Stroboscope means for old-fashioned cars and vintage cars, it's also a portion It's coming up more and more on the market, or coming back on the market, let's say it in that way. Uh, we uh, deci um, decided to uh, resurrect the, multi -sense func uh, the stroboscope functionality together with this measurement tool, which makes the tool as an ancient test as well. Yeah? Then we can measure uh, optical uh, signals, um, light uh, flectoring, on a very quick way, we have a microphone inside to detect noises. We can even measure box, uh, distance control sensors just by placing the tool in front of it uh, because the microphone inside realizes even ultrasonic signals. Then we can uh, adopt um, um, a needle onto it to make the multi-sense to a stethoscope and make it stethoscopic uh, measurements with the sensoring is, as well, yeah? To measure uh, structure upon noise. And uh, it's, by the way, it's a torch as well. So you, you can have a, a light source with, the, with, with, this, with this tool. And because of, of the multi, uh, possi uh, multiple possibilities of this tool, we call it uh, multi-sense. A multi sensor. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for introduction. This very useful and handy tool and enjoy the rest of the diagnostic con and uh, hope that you like it here. Thank you. Pleasure is on my side. Many thanks. Thank you.